Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Stephen Rogers, and welcome to our broadcast at the end of the day. Jewish Americans all across the United States have a lot to be concerned about at this hour. They have a lot to be concerned about because the Democrat Socialist Party in the United States Congress has made it very clear that they will not address the outright, the outright assaults on Jewish Americans across this country. And when I speak of assaults, I'm talking about the fact that there is a member and maybe members of the United States Congress who are anti-Semites, members of the United States Congress who want to ignore the fact that crimes against Jewish Americans are increasing across this country. Bias crimes, crimes of assault, other types of crimes. So why are Jewish Americans being targeted? Why is the nation of Israel being targeted by these individuals in the United States Congress who have made it very, very clear that they are looking not to work in partnership with Israel or work in partnership with law enforcement across this country to address the crimes that are being committed against Jewish Americans? It's simple, folks. The landscape, the agenda, the mission of the Democrat Party in the United States of America is no longer a mission to help this country, to build this country. It is a mission to tear the United States of America apart. I stated last week on the news and on some major media networks that every Jewish American needs to be cognizant of the fact that this has gone beyond a fight for a political seat in the Oval Office. It has gone beyond a fight for a political seat in the United States Congress. But this is now a fight for survival. What I see happening across this country in reference to Jewish Americans are seeds being planted, seeds being planted on a road we do not want to go down. We saw those seeds planted in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. And that is not over-dramatizing what is taking place against Jewish Americans in this country as I speak. Back in the late 1970s, I was a patrol officer in the township of Nutley, a young cop patrolling my community. It was a quiet morning. I believe it was a Saturday morning. Things were slow. I decided to pull into the parking lot of a big business that was closed. I sat there and I was reading a book, a book on Europe, a book on World War II, a book on European history. And so, here I am in my patrol car, in that parking lot. My window is down, and I'm leaf leafing through the book. And suddenly, a young boy, about 12 years old, approaches my car, and he says, Hi, officer. I looked at him, and I said, Hi, young man. What can I do for you? And we had some small talk. He was amazed over the fact that the, the sirens and the lights, as any young boy would be amazed over. Well, he looked at me and I said to him, would you like to see the police radio? In fact, my intention was to have him speak on the radio. So he leaned over and he looked at the radio. And then he asked me a question. A question, ladies and gentlemen, that has haunted me. A question that has been buried in my mind and heart and soul and spirit since the day that young 12-year-old boy asked me the question, are they coming to take me away? I was rather startled at that question because now I'm thinking maybe someone's following him. Maybe someone is about to commit a crime on him, to take him away, to kidnap him. And I looked at him and I said, young man, who? Who's going to come to take you away? He leaned over. He took his right hand and he pointed towards a picture in the book that I was reading. The book was on my lap and I was going through the pages when he approached the vehicle, when he approached my patrol car. I left the book on my lap with a page open that had a picture on it. And the picture, ladies and gentlemen, was that of an SS Nazi soldier. That was what he was pointing at. Are they coming to take me away? I looked at him when he pointed at that picture. And when I looked at him, I noticed something that I had not noticed before when he approached the car. I noticed on his light jacket was a star of David. This was a young 12-year-old Jewish boy asking me if those people wearing those uniforms with that ideology and agenda are going to take him away. 
for the rest of my life. I remember that even till this day. And here we are in the 21st century, in the year 2019, watching the seeds of what that young man is worried about being planted across this country. He is probably now in his 50s. He probably has children and grandchildren. And there's going to be a time when they are going to ask him the same question, Dad, Grandpa, are they going to take me away? Every Jewish American across this country needs to know that they have a friend in the White House, they have friends across this country who have, who have uh, Christian beliefs, they have friends across this country who are willing, ready, and able to stand up and to fight this evil that is coming against them. And I ask every Jewish American, whether you're Democrat or Republican, but especially those who have been sucked in, sucked in like a vacuum cleaner sucking in the, 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 the air, sucked in to an agenda of a Democrat party that is no longer interested in protecting you and perhaps not interested in protecting most Americans because the ideology says it all. The socialist agenda of the Democrat Socialist Party in the United States Congress is leading this country down a road that none of us want to leave our children. And it appears to me that they're beginning with the Jewish American community across this nation. Could you look at your children tonight, whether you're Jewish or Christian or whatever, could you look at them and answer that question knowing what you know now about the United States Congress and the fact that Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and the whole lot of them in the Democrat Socialist Party will not call out, will not call out and condemn Congressman Woman Omar's remarks, anti-Semitic remarks, and others in the Congress who are going out of their way to do what? To minimize what this Congresswoman said and what some of them are doing as we speak. It's even gotten to a point this week, folks, where I read some reports where some in Congress are now minimizing the Holocaust. They're comparing the Holocaust to something that, in their view, should be a footprint in the history books of our children across this land. Are they coming to take me away? Can you answer that question and really say no, knowing what you now know what's going on across this country? I can't. I can't ask it, or I can't answer it, but I can tell you what I can do. I can fight, and I can fight for every American, and in this case, every Jewish American across this country, to make sure that this agenda this dangerous socialist agenda is not going to take any traction, or at least any more traction, than what it has taken already. And what about the Republicans? What about those we elected to office, where every single election they come around and they want photographs with uh, people of wealth, people in the middle class, people who are not doing very well. They want the photographs to say, look, I'm doing something for you. What about them? Well, now I speak to you, my Republican colleagues, the leaders of the Republican Party, not only in Congress or in the Senate, but in every state legislature and every local board, whether it be a school board, a city council or a mayor. Where are you? Stand up. Stand up and let it be known that not just by word, but by deed. You will fight and fight vigorously to put an end to the Democrat socialist agenda that is taking us down a road of destruction. And you will fight not just by word, but by deed against anti-Semitism. You will fight not, with just, not just by word, but by deed against anyone, anyone who begins to plant the seeds against the Jewish communities or any community for that matter across this nation. But since we're talking about Jewish Americans, we need to focus on that. Nancy Pelosi wants general statements made. She wants to say, well, it's not just Jewish Americans. It's this type of American. It's that type of American. It's Americans of all ethnicities. No, it is not. At least at this hour, it is not. This is an outright assault against American citizens of Jewish heritage. 
What in the world are we going to tell our children at the end of our day? What are we going to tell them? What is the answer to the question that they ask at the end of our day? Are they coming to take me away? Thank you for listening tonight. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.